at the border. Okay, we're going to look at some of the structural features of the poem at the border, 1979. Uh, the first thing I would notice is uh, always the stanzas. Um, we have one, two, three, four, five. Oh, one. The first. Okay, we're going to look at some of the structural features of At the Border 1979 uh, by Chilman Hardy. And the first thing I want you to notice about the poem always is how many stanzas there are. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven stanzas. Again, since some stanzas have three lines and some have five um, and some have two, there's no regular line break to each stanza, so that it doesn't seem to be a pattern worth noting. Um, the poem is written in the first person, uh, but the first person plural. Not I, but we. We grabbed a drink. And I think this is to emphasize for the speaker in this poem, um, that this is about her, I think it's her, family moving, and a community. And if we go to the title, it is something to do with a border movement in 1979, but the countries are not named. We don't know what countries are named. Are not The countries are not named. And that's important because there doesn't seem to be a focus actually on the historical. With a poem, there's something about this experience that is, that is hopefully speaking to other people, not the specific historical importance of where this person moved to or where they came from in 1979. The first four stanzas are written in a com very simple, direct way to emphasize the way a child looks at the world, their language. Uh, the, the principal symbol, symbol in the poem is of a thick iron chain and this emphasizes the separation of these two places. And it's not a, a natural man-made separation. It's, uh, sorry, it is not a natural separation, but indeed a man-made separation. Um, that word chain, as we'll see later on, appears in the last line of the poem. And I think that's done quite on purpose. But the chain now isn't a man-made poem, but the same chain of mountains encompassed all of us. Now, in the end, uh, the chain is natural. and encompasses all of us. Uh, encompassed is circles, almost uh, surrounds. So instead of the chain being, being something that separates, is now the chain is something that surrounds, or, or one might almost argue includes. There are some other um, repetition, there's other repetition in the poem. Here we have check-in, Um, border, check-in, border, chain again. These also, in particular the border and the check-in, are other forms of man-made separation. So I'm going to connect them to that. The check-in, the iron chain, and the border are these man-made separations. However, the natural world, the natural chain of mountains, is something that doesn't recognize this change. So if we look at the first person plural, the simple and direct language, and the repetition of some of these terms, and the way in particular the word chain changes, those are 
some important structural things to note about this 